Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're just out here doing a little bit of a fence check and uh, eh, they're over there. If you can see, I don't even know if you can see where my finger's pointing. Anyway, this is the first day we've had that's been nice in like the last four or five. Uh, tried to get some film of the animals, pretty much just soggy animals. So yeah, we're gonna show that here shortly, but yeah, it was a lot of rain. A lot of rain and uh, we got a lot of puddles got a lot of mud around. The only good thing about it is, you can't really see it from here either, but boy, I chose a really bad spot to stand here, didn't I? Anyway, our pond is full at least, so that ought to get us by at least half the summer. So, but uh, one of the things I'm doing out here is, if you guys remember, it was about a year ago that, uh, not quite, that we let the animals out into the new expanded area, and uh, I still have some barbed wire laying around out here and I figure you know what springtime spring cleaning might as well get that stuff out of there hey guys how are you oh, one of them's wallowing out there yeah Thor they don't quite look as soggy as they did <laughs> the other day that's good for them though good to get a shower and uh, they're starting to lose or not starting but they have been losing their uh, winter coat so they're looking a little ragged right now but uh, a lot of that rain helped to get rid of some of that as well so yeah this stuff's been laying out here long enough and uh, not like it's really in the way or anything like that but you know it's just a danger danger to people walking by here and we do have you know other animals walking around out here besides the bison of course they're on this side of the fence but you know we got bears wolves deer you know Pretty much any critter you can imagine, we got them walking around out here, so you know, we don't want them to get hurt either. to eat. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Huh? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Yeah? You guys hungry?
Well, Thor broke his barrel off the chain again, so that's no great shock there. Well, another project to do. Man, look at all the mud. Lots of mud. They're definitely doing their best to get, get rid of that uh, winter coat there. Man, that's got to be itchy. Now you notice too, the young ones, if I can get them in there. They are not nearly as scared of us as they used to be. You know, when we first got them, of course, they would stay on the other side of the pen and they'd be a lot further away too if it wasn't for the fence in the way. And uh, yeah, you guys, you know, close, you know, they're just like, they see us, they're just like the other animals. They're curious. And they figured out finally that we're not the enemy, so. So that's good. Good old Tootsie Roll and uh, Empress there. So yeah, this is still stuff laying out here from when we, uh, you know, when we took this wire out to open up the new area. So it's about time to get that stuff out of here. This stuff is really sharp, so you got to be careful. That's why I wear the leather gloves. Otherwise, man, I'd have holes up one side and down the other. Looks like that's it for that spot. I'll find out when I drive the tractor through here and punch a hole in a tire. Do I wear the gloves? Okay. Let's see if we can. bent up and uh, basically balled up and rolled up so we're gonna go get the Kubota and haul it off. Haul it off, that's right, finally getting it clean. Only took us a year. As we're walking back we're each gonna carry one of these T-posts here. Yep. Then it's just less we gotta haul in the Kubota. Yep. And it's good Yeah, and it's good exercise too.
Well, I don't have the greatest of hopes that that's going to make it all the way back to where I need to bring it back to the garbage, but we'll give it a try.